I'm with driver Joey Logano of Team Penske. Let's talk about where the rubber meets the road. This is such a critical part of racing. Yes, and there's a lot of adjustments we can make with the tire. There's a peak air pressure in our tire for each corner of the car, basically. And what you want to do is kind of start the air pressure a little lower than that. With the tire heat, it's going to pick up, and then that's when you get to your peak grip, hopefully five, six laps into a run. For a short run at the end of the race, you may pump up your tires and try to get that grip really quick. Obviously, there's an inner liner to a lot of our tires when we go to the bigger tracks. Tire stagger, the difference of the tire size from the left to right really affects our cars a lot. So when we get to the racetrack every week. Our tire guy will measure every tire around, put all our sets together, and we want to make sure all those are very consistent. And then we have our wear gauge. So this is very important for after a run, whether it's in practice or even during the race, to really know which tire we're using the most. When one tire wears quicker than the other, it really screws up the balance of the car. So you want to make sure all four tires are wearing equally. All right, let's go track to track. Do the tires vary, and how many do you get allotted per race? There's definitely different compounds, different sizes. Goodyear's always constantly trying to make a better tire. There's always something different every week, and we gotta be on our game to be ready to adjust to make our tire get the most out of it. Well, there you have it, putting power to the ground, courtesy of these rubbers right here. <laughs> well, if you thought those tires were cool, check out these underneath the 10,000 horsepower Nitro Funny car. Also, for all things Snap-on, don't forget to subscribe.